Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 14 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to copy top and last modified files from one ADLS folder to another using ADF pipeline. So let's see the requirement in details. So we have few files in our container. So our requirement is to get top and last modified files. In my case, I am considering top three last modified file names okay so if you compare the last modified date uh, of all these files so you can see the most recently modified file is this one that is emp.csv which has been modified on 6th of september okay and after that it this one uh, that is accessory sales.csv which is modified on 3rd of september this is the second uh, most recently modified file Similarly, this is the third most recently modified file as you compare the dates with other files which has been modified on 23rd July. Uh, other than those, uh, all the three files has been modified on 12th July which is the least recent. Okay, So we have to grab top three most recent modified files Okay, and we have to copy it to another fol folder. So let's see how to do that using ADF pipeline. So let me go to Azure portal. So you can see I have demo container which has six files. So I am considering top three files to copy to another new container. Okay. So let me go to ADF uh, portal and here let me start creating a new pipeline. So first of all I will point my data set to this demo container and I need the list of all the files present in this container. So to do that let me use get metadata activity and let me create a data set that will point to the demo container. So let me point to ADLS Gen 2 and let me select one format and here let me select demo container okay or demo folder. So let me click on okay and I'm not pointing to any file. I want the list of all the files present in the container. So I, I'm taking child items as the field list okay. So let me debug till this point. Yeah, so you can see child item array is holding all the file names present in the demo container. Okay, now we want to iterate through each of the files and we want to get the last modified date and time of each of the files. Okay, so let me use for each so that we can iterate through each of the files. Okay, and let me get the output of get metadata activity as items in for each activity. Okay. And inside this for each, we will try to use another get metadata activity that will point to each of the files dynamically and it will grab the file name as well as last modified date time. Okay, so let me create a data set that will be dynamic and let me select CSV format and here let me point to demo container and for the file name we will create a parameter to make the data set dynamic. So let me create the parameter called file name and let me select that parameter here and now we have to provide value for this parameter. Okay, So the value will be nothing but item dot name that will be holding each file names one by one. Okay, So let me give item dot name as the value for this parameter and here we need two things one is item name which will give the file name and then last modified so this will hold the last modified date time value okay now let me debug till this point so you can see the pipeline execution is completed and get metadata 2 has ran for six six instances okay which means for each file there is one instance okay and if we check the output so file name is coming under item name property and last modified date time is coming under last modified property. Okay, so we are good. So now what we will do is we will load each of this data into a SQL table as as individual rows. Okay, so to do that let me use lookup activity and let me connect these two activities and here let me point my data set to Azure SQL table. And in the query, we will 
create a table on the fly if the table is not present and then we will insert each of the those records with the help of each iteration and insight for each okay so let me first create the table if the table is not present so to check if the table is not present we have something called object id so if a object id of a table so suppose the table name is uh, i'm giving the name as top and files okay so if object id is null which means if the table is not present then we need to create the table db.top and files and here we need to give the table schema so we need two things as the column one is item name which will be holding the file name and the data type here i am providing as varchar 20 okay and the other thing is last modified date time so let me give last modified date time and this column will be having date time as the data type okay so let me copy this and let me go to sql table and here if i run this uh, query it will create the table okay so what happened is it first checked if the object id of this table is null then create the table if the table is not existing then it will create the table how we came to know um, if you see this query select object id of this table currently we just created the table so it has some valid object id associated to it okay now let me drop this table and then we will rerun this query drop table table name so once i drop this table if i select object id of the table it will be null which means if the table does not exist object id will be null so we are just checking if object id is null then create this table okay so that in each of the iteration it will not create a new table so that's why we are using uh, this condition to create the table okay now we need to insert records into this table so let me separate the second query with semicolon so now to insert record into this table let me write down insert query so insert into the table called dbo dot top and files let me copy this and what we need to insert is we need to insert two things one is item name which is nothing but file name and last modified date time so these two data that we need to insert will be coming from get metadata activity output okay so here let me write down select and then let me give proper string interpolation and here we need to uh, select the activity output so what are the properties which is holding these two information one is item name and the other one is last modified okay so let me go back here and here let me go to activity output and the first thing we need to select is get metadata to item name okay so let me select that and then let me give comma and here let me select last modified property so this is the one but uh, since we have we are defining uh, last modified date time column as a date time uh, data type of column so uh, since this get metadata 2 is giving us the output in string uh, value so let us convert it to proper date time by using format date time function so let me select that and here let me give a proper date time format that is yyyy hyphen mm then dd okay similarly let me give hh mm then ss let me enclose it using bracket and um, our query is ready but since we are using lookup activity and we are not selecting anything it is just a insert query so it will not return any data so lookup is always meant to return some data so in order to do that let me use a dummy select query select one as output okay so this is just to avoid the error Uh, which will come out out of look look up if we are not selecting anything so that's it now let me debug till this point and meanwhile let me go to uh, sql table and write the select query from top and files so currently okay so the file uh, table has already got created let's let me refresh so you can see look up has been successful that's why the table got created 
So the first lookup itself would have created the table and the next lookup will, will check if the table is already created it will skip that create table script ok and it will just insert it. So let me refresh it. So you can see data is already loading. Yes, so the pipeline is completed. Now what we need to do is we need only top three records. So let me refresh again. So you can see six records has been inserted but we need only top three last modified records. So let me write down a query that is select top three star from this table called top and files and then we will order it by descending order because we need only top three records. So if we sort it by descending order then if we take, take only top three star then it will give us only last three modified files ok. So let me order it by last modified date time column ok and we will or, uh, sort it by descending order. So if we do that you can see employee CSV and accessories sales and uh, integer values these are the three uh, fi files that we are getting. So it is the expected one you can see employee CSV integer file and accessories sales dot CSV. So we are good let me copy this query and now let me go to the EDF again and here I will use a lookup activity after this for each ok because we need to run this query on top of the SQL table that we have created inside this for each ok. So let me point to the same uh, SQL connector and here in the query I am just going to paste that query ok. So as it is already uh, a select query so we don't need to give any dummy select so this lookup will run perfectly. So this will give uh, these three records as the output ok. So once we get this what we need to do is we need to iterate through each of these records and we need to copy these files into another container ok. So let me first debug till this point. So now what is happening is uh, all this lookup 1 is not recreating the table but it is actually reinserting the multiple records right. Let me select from this table. So you can see duplicate data is present. So what we need to do is before uh, before performing any activity we need to drop the table and recreate it during the fly ok. So here let me point to the uh, Azure SQL table and here we will check if the table exists then drop the table. So to check that we will simply use if object id of that table called dbo dot top and files if this is not null sorry is not null then simply drop the table top and files ok. So again as this is a lookup activity we need to give select one as output. So we are good since lookup 2 is also completed you can see this is giving us top 3 records that we needed ok. So this is what we need to iterate and we need to copy these files into another container. So to iterate through each of these files I am using for each activity again and let me connect these two and here this time I will use output of lookup2 as the item of for each. So let me check for lookup2 activity output dot value. So let me give value because value is the array which is holding these file names right. So inside this for each we will use copy activity and in the source we need to use the dynamic data set that we have created for demo container and, and this is parameterized using the file name. So let me select the same and here in the file name we will pass item dot item dot item name ok because out of this lookup we are getting two properties one is item name and then last modified date time. So as we want the file name which is present in item name property so I am taking that and here as we are inside this for each so we can use item dot item name ok and now in the sync I am going to create a new uh, data set that will be pointing to a new container. So let me create a new folder or a new container called 
output folder output folder okay if we see here there is no such folder currently so it should create on the fly and again the file name will be dynamic so let me reopen this data set and let me create the parameter for file name as we have to copy multiple files so we need this parameter we cannot hard code the file name now let me go back and here again we will use item dot item name as the file name because because we want the same uh, name in the sync that is uh, from the source whatever name we are getting we will use the same name so let me use item name so we are good now let me debug the whole pipeline so first of all first of all it should uh, delete the table okay so let me hit on this so you can see object I, object named top and files is not present so on the fly it should create the table inside this for each okay so uh, yeah first of all it deleted the table if it is present then we are getting all the file names present in demo folder using this get metadata one and iterating through each of those files we are getting the last modified value and the file name also and using for uh, using this lookup we are writing down this data into a SQL table okay let me see the input so you can see this is how the query is getting formed okay and then we are pointing to the same table and we are getting the top three file names okay and then we are going to iterate through each of these file names and we are going to copy each of the files into another uh, container okay so the pipeline execution is completed now let me go back here and let me refresh so you can see output folder has been created if I check this all the three files that were the expected files are coming properly so you can see accessories sales.csv emp.csv and integer values.csv so these are the three files that we are uh, copying okay so these are the top three modified files from another container so this is how we can copy any number of files with the help of SQL table using ADF pipeline okay so that's it for this video guys I hope you like the content please like the video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you please stay tuned